In this episode, we will be reviewing a kitchen prep knife disguised as a useful pocket knife. As always, I pay full price for each item and tell you what I really think. So stick with us as we show you the good, the bad, and the not so great about it. Welcome back to RBB. If you're new here, please like and subscribe to keep the channel going. So if you've carried a pocket knife long enough, there has been occasion to use it to cut a sandwich in half or to split a slice of pizza for two people fighting over the last piece. But there are a few reasons why the average pocket knife doesn't get regular use around the kitchen. One may be that the blade of your favorite pocket slicer isn't exactly food grade. By this, I mean that citric acid from oranges or lemons or even vinegar can cause rust or discoloration. Another reason may be that the shape of most pocket knives from the handle to the blade may result in your knuckles hitting the cutting board before you're halfway through the slice. Finally, a pocket knife has more moving parts, and repeatedly rinsing out food particles can cause internals to eventually show corrosion. Well, what if a knife designer, in collaboration with Spyderco, took all of those issues into consideration and designed a pocket knife that could be used regularly around the cooking area while still being a useful EDC? In my opinion, the Spidey Chef is just such a knife. Now, I'm not trying to oversell its features. To be honest, you're limited to a blade of less than three and a half inches long. But having owned it for a year now, it has definitely seen some food prep situations with me. Moreover, the LC200N blade steel has incredibly high corrosion resistance, and the edge retention is pretty good for a modern steel, but not as good as, say, S30V, for example. But it's way better than Spyderco's H1 steel, in my opinion, which, despite its high corrosion resistance, seems to go dull just by sitting in your pocket. As well, both the Spidey Chef scales and wire pocket clip are titanium, which bumps up the price a bit. That also means the corrosion resistance isn't limited to just the blade. In addition, the clip is deep pocket style and ambidextrous for tip-up carry. It just so happens that I took the Spyderco Spidey Chef with us on vacation last year to the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Granted, it was mostly used for slicing fruit and musubi, but there was one touristy event where we took a charter swim with the dolphins in open water. Naturally, I had to attach the Spidey Chef to a lanyard and take it in the water with me to see how it performed. After three hours on the boat and three different snorkel adventures, a quick rinse with fresh water was all it needed. But there is one feature that I really don't like, and I'm calling it out for all my left-handed brothers and sisters on this one. The Spidey Chef uses a Reeve Integral Lock System, which is considered to be a rock-solid design. But the locking mechanism leaves the spidey hole for lefties, which is the primary means of opening the knife, halfway blocked. From an engineering standpoint, I understand why though, but as usual, lefties adapt and overcome. Nowadays, the Spyderco Spidey Chef goes with me to work in my lunchbox and on overnight hiking trips where food prep comes into play. But I also keep a pocket sharpener on me in case the LC200N blade steel needs to be touched up along the way. Spyderco's current suggested retail price for the Spidey Chef is just over $400 in 2024 money, but it can be found for nearly half that price online. Yeah, you can find a few cheaper versions of the folding food prep knife around, but none I could find have the extreme corrosion resistance, the same level of EDC usefulness, and overall style of the Spidey Chef. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you right back here next time on Ranges, Backstops, and Berms.